A lot of people have said I should make a new video, so I have, and I'm going to be talking about something I've thought a lot on, and that thought is how our universe is not capable of existing. So in this video, that's what I'll be talking about. First off, something cannot come from nothing. This is impossible. However, there is a way around this, and that is to exploit a loophole to exist. For example, something could exist forever back in time. It was never created, therefore it didn't do the impossible and come from nothing. It has just always been around. So now we know how something can exist. It just has to have always been around. So if anything can be around, as long as it has been around forever, then anything can exist. An infinite amount of things. This includes universal rules. Rules like green won't exist, or humans will all have large eyes, or the universe will end on the first second, and there are an infinite number of these rules. However, each of these rules also has a rule that voids it, like a rule that states that rule about green not existing is void, or that rule about humans having large eyes is void. And for each one of these rules, there is also a differing rule on the same subject, a counteractive rule, like a rule that states instead of green not existing, it will be red that won't exist, or instead of humans all having large eyes, they will have small eyes, or instead of the universe ending on the first second, Instead, it will end on the second second. So, if every one of these infinite universal rules has an infinite amount of counteractive rules, and also an infinite amount of voiding rules, how does existence decide which rule wins? Well, there would also be universal rules for that. Rules that decide which rules win, and I'll refer to these rules as referee rules. So these referee rules would state things such as there's a conflict between the rule about humans having small eyes or large eyes, while well, I decide that small eyes is the rule that wins. But these referee rules also have an infinite amount of counteractive referee rules, and also have an infinite amount of voiding rules. So now, how is existence possibly able to pick winners? Well, it's impossible. All of this effectively makes existence impossible. Well, the video isn't over yet. I did say I've thought a lot about this, so I'll go over some ways I thought about that could be a way around the impossibility of existence. The first way is that we are in a universe that is immune to external rules. But then I realized a rule would counteract this. The second way is that, surely if there are infinite things, literally everything possible, somewhere out there is our universe, an anomaly. And that's what we are. But then I realized infinite means infinite, and there are still definitely rules that counteract and void and referee and counter-referee and void referee our existence. And then I thought of the third way, which is the most interesting one, and that we are the logical consequence of what could be. Like if you dream something or imagine something, it's not real, but it could be. And all of those people in that dream feel just as real as you and me. And that's what we are. But then I realized this is a reality. It is just as real as you and me, because it's there. And if nothing is dreaming us, then it would also be dreaming all of those rules. Counteractive, voiding, refereeing, counter-refereeing, voiding, refereeing, and so on. And this makes us being a logical consequence of what could be just as impossible as if it was, because it is, in a way. And that's all the ways I've thought of. And after a long time of my brain not being able to come up with another one, I believe these are all the ways. And I disproved them all. Reality is impossible. And yet you can simply look around to disprove this, even though what you're seeing is completely, absolutely, 100% impossible. It is there, and it shouldn't be. It is an anomaly. You are an anomaly. Everything you see is impossible. And I simply just can't find a solution. Things just are, even though they can't be. So there, I finally made another video. I hope you're all satisfied now. If you can think of any ways around the impossibility of existence, feel free to comment about it. I'd like to hear any feedback you have about this video. Thanks for your time. I hope you could all understand what I'm saying. And goodbye.